I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me. If you follow me. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Hear Christ calling, come on. Christ calling, come on to me, I will give you rest, I will give you rest, I will give you rest, be Christ calling, come on to me, I will give you rest. Good morning children, yeah, welcome to our uh, Sunday school for primary part this morning. How are you? Hope you are all well and keeping safe. Before we start, let us pray. Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, we thank you for being with us throughout the week. Thank you for the new year. Thank you for January that is nearly ending. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for our friends. Lord, come and teach us our lesson this morning. Come and plant it in our hearts and help us to do as we have been taught, O oh Lord. Help us to be good children that will make you happy. In the end, take us to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title of our lesson today is A New Kind of Fishing. A new kind of fishing. And our memory verse is, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Our text for this lesson is Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 22, and John chapter 1, verses 35 to 51. But we are going to be reading only Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 22. Let's pick our Bibles and read together. 18. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. 20. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. 21. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. And he called them. 22. And they immediately left their sheep and their father and followed him. Let's put our Bibles down and listen to our lesson. Children, you are going to watch a telephone discussion between myself and somebody. How he answered my call and how I sent him on an errand. Good morning, Mr. Ayo. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Please, while you are coming to church, can you help me to pick some children from 33 Osborne Courts? That's fine. Yes, we'll, sir. I will try to pick them up. I will see you in the church soon. Please, will it be possible for you to take them back home as well? Yes, I will. Thank you. No, thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Children, that was how Jesus called his disciples. If they didn't answer him, they wouldn't know why he was calling them. 
He called them and they answered him and he told them that they are going to be fishers of men. That is, they are going to be his disciples. Remember one of our past lessons when Jesus told Mary and Joseph that he must be about his father's business. In our lesson today, it's been three years that Jesus started his work on earth. He had prayed to many people. He had healed many sick of various diseases. He has performed a lot of miracles. And his work is very great. He needed helpers. Jesus didn't choose helpers from he didn't choose rich people to be his helpers. He chose some fishermen, a tax collector, and some ordinary people, those who will be willing and obedient to do whatever he wants them to do. The first two people Jesus called were two brothers. Peter, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother. They were casting their nets. When they heard Jesus call them, they turned their boat around and went to Jesus. Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Do you know what that meant? It means that they will no longer catch fish. Jesus has a greater work for them. He wants them to be his disciples so that they will tell others about the love of God. And it will be like fishing for people. That day, Peter and Andrew left their boats and nets and they followed Jesus. Jesus also chose two other brothers, James and John, his brother. They were mending their net with Zebedee, their father. Jesus said to them, follow me. They left their father and their nets and they immediately and willingly followed Jesus. Jesus also chose eight other disciples, which were Thaddeus, Simon, James, the son of Alphaeus, Matthew, Philip, Thomas, Judas, and Bartholomew. Do you know what Jesus was looking for in his helpers? He was looking for those who will listen to his teachings and obey them. He wants us to love him too. You know, when you love someone, you want to obey them. How can we show Jesus that we love him? We can tell him we are sorry for all the bad things we have done, like disobedient to our parents, disobedient to our teachers, telling lies, stealing, being mean to our friends and all other bad behaviors. We tell Jesus we are sorry and we promise him we will not do them anymore. Jesus will come into our hearts. He will save our souls and we will not be able to do all those bad things again. The people around us will know that something good had happened to us. When they ask us why we are different, we'll be able to tell them that Jesus had saved our souls. Then we can be his helper too. He loves you and has a special plan for you. Wouldn't you like to be a fisher of men and tell others about Jesus? We want to answer God's call and be usable in his service. Jesus needed helpers when he was on earth and is calling for helpers today. Would you like to answer his call?
Our statement for this lesson is Fishers of Men. Before we end our lesson, I would like to teach you a song titled There Were Twelve Disciples. There were twelve disciples. Jesus called to help him. Simon Peter Andrew, James's brother John, Philip Thomas Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Tadeus Simon Judas, and Bartholomew. He has called us to. He has called us to. We are his disciples. I am one of you. He has called us to. He has called us to. We are his disciples. We his work must do. This is the end of our lesson. The activities for this lesson, ages 2 to 5, Fishers of Men. Find and circle each of the words in the puzzle. And for ages 6 to 8, choosing helpers, using the shapes as clues. Write the missing letters into the empty spaces. Then read the names of the men Jesus chose to help him. Our next week lesson is Lesson 6A, titled The Very Best Shepherd. And the memory verse is My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John chapter 10, verse 27. God bless you. See you next week. Bye. Good morning and happy Sunday to you all. You are welcome to answer class. Our lesson today is lesson 74 titled A False Accusation. The key verse for the lesson is He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. Our Bible text is Acts chapter 6, verses 1 to 15, 7, 54 to 60. We are not going to read all, but I will read selected verses. Acts chapter 6, 1. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Christians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. 3. Wherefore, brethren, look ye among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. 5. And the same pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of Holy Ghost. 8. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogue disputing with Stephen. 13. And set up false witnesses, which said, This man ceases not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. Chapter 7, verse 59. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus received my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their church. And when he had said this, he felt asleep. Let's close our Bible and listen to the lesson. Look up, everyone. Our bodies can be destroyed, but we have a soul that cannot be destroyed by man. If a person withstand persecution after his body dies, 
his soul will be in heaven. What is false accusation? It's when someone says you did something that you did not do. In our lesson story of today, that's what happened to Gia, a Christian girl in her new school. She was a Christian. The love of Jesus was in her heart. And the other kids, they noticed that she was different because she will not join them to do bad things. Because of that, nobody wants to befriend her. They just they exclude her from many things. But one day, one of the naughty boys in the class, Cassin, falsely accused her to their teacher, Mrs. Lee. He said, Jia has dropped all his papers on the floor. Mrs. Lee, taking Cassin's side, allowed Jia to be embarrassed in front of the other kids. Jia was very hot in her heart. She was sad. Have you been falsely accused at any time? How did you feel? I'm sure you will be, you must feel felt so bad. Jia quietly, by the help of God, responded wisely. She looked up to God in her heart and prayed and started picking the papers as Mrs. Lee instructed her to do. That would take us to our key statements. When things get hard, I look to Jesus. Jia was very sad and embarrassed. When she got home, she told her mom. She was thinking about it. The mom said, maybe God wants to teach you a lesson from this. On Sunday, their Sunday school lesson was on Stephen, who preaching, telling people to turn from their bad ways. But they didn't listen to him. They didn't want to repent. That is exactly how Christian life condemns sinners. They want to make you sad make you feel guilty just for them to think they are doing the right thing. Stephen, after preaching to them, they arrested him. They set up false witnesses against him. They dragged him out of the city. They started stoning Stephen as the stone was going on. He looked up I see the heavens and saw Jesus. Then he started praying that God should forgive the those who are stoning him. God should not count it against them as sin. After the Sunday school lesson, Jia felt so peaceful in her heart, thinking, oh, if Stephen can do that, pray for those people stoning him. Her own is nothing then. Then she prayed to God, asked God to help her to forgive Mrs. Lee and Cassin. The love of God dropped in her heart and she did not feel any bad feeling to Mrs. Lee and Cassin who had embarrass her, making her unhappy through the experience of situation of sadness. Children, what can be our trials and persecution today 
in our age. If you have the love of God in your heart, other kids will see that you are different because of that. They don't want to play with you. They want to ex exclude you from activities, bullying you, calling you names, making jests of you. We should not worry. We should ask God, look to Jesus and ask him to help us. We cannot do that if we don't have the love of Jesus in our hearts. Jesus has promised that whoever is persecuted for his name's sake, he will be with us. So if we look to God, have faith in our hearts that Jesus will be with us, Jesus is with us, he will see us through. We remember the three Hebrew children in the fiery furnace, Jesus was with them, they came out on hot. Daniel in the lion's den, God was with him, he came out on hot. Jia said, if Stephen can pray for those people, I will follow the example. She followed the example of Stephen, God help her. She forgave those that are persecuting her. Children, we can do the same thing with the love of Jesus in our heart. Love those people that didn't love us. Pray for them. And Jesus will help us. Remember, when things get hard, I look to Jesus. God who helped Stephen, who helped Jia, will help us when it is our time to go through persecution. That will be our lesson. The activities for the lesson is what should I do? Give advice to Tucker, Scarlett, and James using the Bible verse giving. Our next week lesson is lesson 75, sticking with it. The memory verse is, he that endures to the end shall be saved. Matthew chapter 10 verse 22. Let us pray, shall we? Oh Lord, we thank you for the primary past lesson. You have called us to follow you. Help us to follow. Thank you for the answer lesson. Help us to stand in time of trouble. Help us to stand in time of persecution. And help us to follow you to the end. At last, take us to heaven, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.